Hey y'all, Rick Fearless Fairless, Strokers Dallas, Strokers Ice House, Punchwally Garage and Fearless Services. Good morning. How you doing? You good? Today is Wednesday, January 24th, 2024, Year of Our Lord. This is season number two, episode number 24. Today we are going to talk about Aunt B, Touch the Cars, and the Ice Cream Truck. Let's go. In my life, the 366 project, the Mr. Peabody Wayback Machine, goes back to 1968. So in 1968, my brother and I were 11 and 12 years old. So in those days, we used to play a lot of football. We played out in the yard, so we lived in the in the second house off the corner. So the house on the corner had a big side yard, and so it was it was really big. So we thought, and we used to play football out there, and we would get you know, long as you had five or six guys, you could you could play in the yard, and uh, we played tackle football because we, you know, we're watching the Dallas Cowboys and the NFL. We wanted to emulate that. And, but see, I'm an asthmatic, lifelong asthmatic. Never go anywhere without my juice. So I was all-time quarterback. So whichever team had the ball, I was the quarterback. My brother didn't like that, but I was the all-time quarterback. So as we got bigger, that little yard wasn't big enough, so we would play in the street. Now, you're not playing tackle football in the street, so we played two below, which two below means you got two hands below the way. So you had to, you know, grab them somewhere in there. You know, it could be in the legs. You just had to get two hands below the waist, two below. Somebody... Uh, came down one time, one of the neighbor's buddies from Chicago or somewhere, and he said, oh, it's like flag football. We said, flag football? What's flag football? We had no clue. Two below. So we played a lot of football out in the street. If we had eight or ten guys, we could go over to the schoolyard and get a baseball game going on the, on the diamond there at the schoolyard. But that was rare that we had that many. And when we're playing in the street, when a car would go by, you'd yell, car! Whoever saw the car coming. And you split on both sides of the street. Well, to get good luck for your team, you had to rub the car. So when a car goes by, you're standing as close as you could. When a car goes by, you'd stick your hand out and rub the car. You didn't rub that car. Yeah, I did. Look at my hand. Ooh, you did rub it. That was good luck when you rubbed the passing car. Sure, one guy got his hand, his uh, bracelet caught in the trim of the car and yanked his bracelet off. Sure, one guy got his foot run over. But that's a small price to pay for good luck for the, the team. But the thing that can always stop the game, always stop the game, and it's wherever you live too. There was one thing, no matter what you were doing outside, there was one thing that shut everything down. The ice cream truck. You remember? You'd hear that ice cream truck coming. Ice cream truck! And you ran as fast as you could to get some money from your mom. And then as fast as you could to the ice cream truck. Remember that? Like it was yesterday. Hey, let's check that Chuck. Check that Chuck, you big old. Ooh, hey, what you got there, boy? Look at that. 
Yeah, I don't like to brag, but check these out. So these are kind of a orange with a white overlay. The rainbow logo. Rainbow there. The other side of the shoe is a blue. The bottoms are rainbow. Two vent hose. White toe, white sew, invisible white racing stripes, white shoe strings, one eye down, double knotted for safety. I want you to take a good look at these shoes because these are, say it with me, y'all, these are some handsome chucks. Yes, they are. Hey, look, it's my mom. Hi, mom. These are some handsome chucks there. Southern slang, my wife says this about my dogs, ragamuffin. I wish you'd look at that dog, she looks like a ragamuffin. That means a need grooming. Dad joke, if you want to know what God thinks about money, just look at the people he gave it to. No comment. Yogiism. I never said most of those things I said. Okay. I have a big announcement coming up. Stand tight with your pen and pencil. Get off the couch and motivational minute. minute. The only impossible journey is the one you never began. What does that mean, Rick Fearless Fearless? It means if you don't start the journey, there is no journey. You got to get started. Here's a big announcement. You ready? Spring Fling, April the 5th through the 7th. It's going to be a blast. We've got some new things planned. This would be the perfect time for people from out of town, out of state, to come visit us. We can get you a list of hotels. April the 5th through the 7th. Check out my online store, www.strokersdallasmerch.com. A lot of cool things there. If you need a bike, why don't you buy a bike for me? Be part of our family. StrokersDallas.com. Check out the bikes for sale. If you need to sell a bike, let me be your punch wally. I can do it. Okay, I'm going to leave you with this. Andy Griffith, one of the best shows ever. Well, some of the cast members didn't get along. Aunt B didn't get along with most of the, the cast and most of the uh, staff. They said she was unhappy. She was overly census, sensitive. She was contentious. And she was a bear to work with. She was moody. Never got along with any of the cast or the crew. Four years after the show was over, Andy Griffith and Ronnie Howard, who played Opie, went to visit her because they heard she was sick. She would not allow them in her house. She turned them away. But later on in life, she did get sick, and just before she died, she did talk to Angie Andy and apologize to him. But she seemed like the one that would be the nicest one, don't you think? <laughs> Turns out she was just a good actress. All right, Rick Fearless Fearless. I got to go. I got a lot of things to do, and I don't want to look like a ragamuffin doing them. I appreciate you watching the show. And I love you so much that I'm going to come back tomorrow. Got to go. Love you, bye.